so in last session we have studied input tag with their attributes and what are the advanced features are given to design any form that we have studied in our earlier sessions both the sessions i have uploaded on youtube i shared both links those who couldn't attend the last two sessions those students can update himself or herself from youtube or already i have provided the, those links in google classroom so those students can update from google classroom or youtube okay so today we are going to start our next session in this session we shall use whatever we have studied before means we have studied different advanced tags with uh, advanced attributes with the input tag and some advanced type values in the input tag now we will study that how we can use those tags to create or to design a new form okay so here i'll share a new screen in that screen in that screen i am sharing a form you know microsoft word okay here everybody can see here here is a simple form and in this simple form name email date of inception office time number of years completed between 1 and 100 office phone number and add your home page these type of data we have to feed and then we have to click on the submit button to submit this form with field information yes pratamesh mute your mic okay so here is the form which we have to design using html5 now we will do one by one so the simple thing that first of all you have to type a simple tag which we are using at the start of html5 that is doc type html okay so here is a doc type html which denote that we are writing the code which is interpreted in html so here we start html code and that can be denoted to browser by doc type html okay this part is compulsory this part is compulsory when we are using html5 it was not compulsory in pure html but when we are using html5 at that time you must use this doc type to start any html program okay so next is html tag we know very well when we start any program in html then we start it with html tag then head tag title tag we enclose some text inside the title tag to denote the content this content into title bar of web page we close this we close this title tag and then head tag so head section of the html program 
we have completed in this part. Now the second section is a body section. The whole things which we want to display in a document area that should be enclosed inside the body tag. So here body tag start. Inside the body tag we have to create a new form. To create a new form we use form tag. Okay, so here is a form tag. In short, this form tag is written by just a tag. But you can write this form tag with all attributes. Just like here I am typing this form tag. The system gets slower. Okay, here I start with form tag. Form name is equal to you can write any name then method is equal to see when we want to transfer any confidential information from client to server or from your form to the server that time you have to use post method if you want to transfer the general information then you can transfer it by using get method. So here is a general information I want to transfer because see here name, email, all these things are not confidential. So if you want to transfer the data which is not confidential then you can use method is equal to get. Okay and last attribute is a action this action attribute is optional when you write any program in your examination okay otherwise you can write any executable application code i'm here writing a.php okay i'm just writing here a.php a.php is an executable program when you click on a submit button then the content in return or the code written inside the a.php will execute here. Okay, this form tag, I'm closing here by using slash form. Okay, here I have closed this form using slash form. Inside the form tag, I have to create other elements. Okay, so here is the first element you can see over here. Here is a name is the first element and then a input box is given. Okay, so what I will do, I will create a label here just writing NAME. Okay, here I want to display this text before text box. Okay, here I am using colon and then I am going to create a text box that is input type is equal to text. Okay, here I am creating a text box, this text box to enter name. Okay, so input text box type is equal to text and then autocomplete is given. Now we know that why autocomplete is given. Suppose 
you are a graded type any data before submitting any previous form the data filled in the name will automatically come here if you want to bring it automatically in this box then you can place autocomplete attribute while creating this input box okay so see here here input type is equal to text and then it is said autocomplete but this autocomplete this autocomplete attribute is not necessary here because it's not said anything here that you have to fit autocomplete so if you want to write this autocomplete you can write otherwise it is optional okay next tag is br tag okay br tag is used to jump on a next line next content is email here you have to enter email but before the input box you have to display a label email and here you have to create a input box by using input type is equal to email when you say input type is equal to email then a input box will create in which you can enter only email id okay so when you create any input box then you name it by using either name attribute or id attribute okay here we are going to enter name so i write here name is equal to f name means first name and here is name i am giving name to this element as name is equal to e mail id okay so here i am giving name to each element okay each elements are named here by using name attribute okay next line to jump on a next line i am again using the br tag okay here input type is equal to email name is equal to email id this name you can specify as per your wish okay so there is there are some rules to name this value okay this name should be 255 maximum 255 characters any space is not allowed in name any symbol except underscore is not accepted as name okay so these three rules you have to consider when you write any name or you want to specify any name to name attribute okay now the next date of inception okay here it's a date of inception colon here you have to create input box by using type is equal to input box by using type is equal to date okay so here you are specifying date so here input type is equal to date you have to specify with name so name is equal to d o i date of inception okay here i am jumping on the next line by using br tag so next line here is a office time so to create this office time we use this label office time colon here is a input 
टाइप इज इक्वल टू नाउ शेयर टू डिस्प्ले टाइम वी आर यूजिंग वैल्यू टाइम एज अ वैल्यू फॉर टाइप एट्रीब्यूट एंड नेम इट नेम इज इक्वल टू ओ टी ऑफिस टाइम अगेन दी आर टैग कम ऑन नेक्स्ट लाइन नेक्स्ट इज नंबर ऑफ इयर्स कंप्लीटेड सो हियर यू हैव टू राइट लेबल नंबर ऑफ इयर्स completed colon and here you have to specify range 1 and 100 but what you are going to enter in this field that is number okay here you are entering number but the range is 1 to 100 okay so here i will create input tag input type is equal to number okay minimum value that is a mean is equal to 1 and max is equal to 100 okay so here we have specified minimum and maximum range okay so when we apply minimum to maximum range then by using input type is equal to number we can specify that the created email the created box input box is related to or allowed to enter number only and that number is ranging from minimum value 1 to maximum value 100 okay so next again we are tag we come on next line and here the next is the office phone number okay here you are creating a label office phone number here you, you are using input tag with type is equal to telephone tel okay here input type is equal to tel by specifying this you can create a telephone number here you can write name is equal to name is equal to phone and next we are tag okay see this is the office phone number here you can write by using input or here you can create that input box using input type is equal to tel but suppose if you write input type is equal to text or if you write input type is equal to number then you have to mention pattern attribute to decide what type of format you have to use even you are using tel attribute to tel value to the type attribute then it is also possible to define a pattern okay now pattern what will be the pattern for the phone number the first may be country code okay so first may be country code in double inverted comma now i am writing country code it should be 0 to 9 okay so in square bracket 0 to 9 okay and it should be two characters long then there must be hyphen next 0 to 9 sorry square bracket and the range must be n numbers okay so here is a country code first country code comes then dash then 0 to 9 number but numbers should be 10 which means length should be 10 okay so here we have defined 
pattern for entering number it means the number should be in this pattern okay so pat in the pattern we have specified 0 to 9 number with the square bracket and here we are using this number inside the curly bracket it decide that the country code should be maximum two length in size here we are specifying a hyphen means in between country code and the mobile number there will display a hyphen and after that hyphen a 10 digit mobile number will display in this 10 digit mobile number 0 to 9 digits can be used okay here we have specified perfectly 10 digits so 10 digits are displayed here okay so here is a related to phone number now add your home page okay here you have to specify home page of your company so add your home page opening tag input type is equal to url name is equal to home page okay so here we have given a input type is equal to url to specify that we are going to create a input box in which user can allow to type only url okay so next is br tag and come on next line here i am to i am going to create a submit button okay so here is a submit button we have created input type is equal to submit name is equal to submit value is equal to submit in html okay but in that your html you can place a button directly on screen but suppose if you want to create a button with you with any image or by using any image then there is a specific tag you have to use that is input type is equal to image okay so here input type is equal to image src is equal to name of that image which you want to display at the place of submit button suppose the file is created submit button dot jpg then you have to always keep in mind this image should be placed in your folder where you are going to store this file okay when you create a submit button dot jpg and store it in your folder then you start to write the program okay if this image is not over there then submit button will not display so first of all create this jpg file store it in your folder then write this src is equal to submit btn dot jpg okay so here input type is equal to image src submit button dot jpg then you have to specify width width is equal to 100 and the height is equal to 40 okay so here i have specified width is, width is equal to 100 and height is equal to 40 here we have closed our form here no need to insert br tag why because there is nothing to write next to this content so we close this form tag then slash body and slash html as shown in here okay form slash body and slash html save this document in your folder having any name dot htm 
open this html file in any browser like google chrome or internet explorer output will look like this here you can enter name here you can enter email id here date of inception here office time you can enter here number 1 to 100 you can enter here you can enter telephone number and here url of home page okay at the same time this data which you are entering here must be validated by the system because we have used here advanced types of input tag okay so here validation also performed by this form okay so in examination this form can be asked to write code for this form very simple and easily you can write code for this form creation okay whatever we have studied in 11 standard in similar way you can write code for form creation Okay, so this is the form for given structure. Okay, now the next part which we are going to study is meta tag. Okay, this tag is very important when you are going to do search engine optimization. If you want to do search engine optimization of your website, then some content we have to configure and to configure those content, we must use meta tag in our web page. Okay, now what is the, what are different things we can write in the meta tag? But before that, I want to explain what the meaning of metadata. Okay, here it is said that meta tag is a singular tag. Means there is a no need to write up the pair. There is a no closing meta tag, closing of meta tag. So, meta tag is a singular tag. We have to write it with the start tag only. Here is no need to close it. Okay, now what is purpose of this meta tag? Metadata is represented by meta tag. It is said that metadata is represented by meta tag. Metadata is used by browser and search engine. Okay, this sentence is very important. What it says, metadata is used by browser and search engine. Metadata describes the other data. It provides information about certain elements in content. For example, an image may include metadata that describe how large the picture is, the color depth, image resolution, when the image is created and other data. A text document metadata may contain information about how long the document is, who is the author of that content, when the document is written or created, and the short summary of document. Each and every web page often include metadata. Okay, in metadata, we can write description and keywords okay these two things are very important by using metadata we can write description and keywords okay now most search engine most search engine uses metadata for search indexing it provides information about the HTML document and the content of meta tag never displays on page. This is another more important sentence when you study meta tag. 
the content of meta tag never displays on web page it means it always works in background so whatever you have written inside the meta tag is used for just indexing okay now what is this indexing what is this use of search engine optimization what is page rank how we can search engine optimize our website all these things are we have to study in next chapter okay but before that meta tag is you have to keep in mind it is used to just help search engine optimization okay so here are the different attributes of meta tag okay so here is the attributes of meta tag four attributes we can use with meta tag the first attribute is name second content third is care set and fourth is http equivalent okay these four different attributes we can use with this meta tag okay what are the attributes i am repeat again name content char set and http equivalent okay so these four different attributes we can use with meta tag okay we already studied that meta tag is used for just to help search engine optimization or indexing it represent a data which is nothing but just introduction of your page the content whatever you have mentioned on a page that can be shortly represented by using meta tag okay so share name by using name attribute we can specify number of data or types of data in our meta tag so what are the four values that we can specify to name attribute okay here are total four values that we can specify to name attribute the first is the author second is description third is keywords and fourth is copyrights so these are the four possible values we can apply for name attribute so what is use of name attribute it specifies name of metadata and the metadata are categorized in these four types okay so these four types these four types are values of name attribute now if you say the name is equal to author if you specify name is equal to author then what content you can write inside okay that is given in next attribute that is a content when you specify name is equal to author then what content should be in this tag so he here author author is used to specify name of author name of data creator name of the company or the name of the organization of which the website or the web page is owned okay so by using author name we can specify name of author or creator of the data so see here here is an example in which meta name is equal to author given here we have specified name is equal to author and when you specify name is equal to author then content will be the owner of web page or website this particular meta name or meta tag is created for the website owned by maharashtra state board okay so maharashtra state board is a author or owner or the creator of the web page 
so in that web page meta tag is written as meta name is equal to author content is equal to maharashtra state board okay so here we have seen the first part of the name attribute that is if you specify name is equal to author then inside the content attribute you have to specify name of author or creator of data then we are going to study the next attribute is description what is purpose of this attribute to specify description of the web page what content is on web page this web page is telling what what type of information are stored in the web page that can be specified in a short text in description okay so this description is very important when you see the search result pages on screen when you search any content on google or any search engine then according to that keyword which we have used the list of website displayed on a search pages and in that search page result you can see the number of websites their titles with their description okay so description always specify the short content of any web page okay so this description specified short content of any web page for example when you are right with the content attribute see here example is given if meta name is equal to description then content will be the maharashtra state board of secondary and higher secondary education conducts the hsc and ssc examination in the state of maharashtra through its nine divisional boards located at pune mumbai aurangabad nasik kolapur amravati latur nagpur and ratnagiri okay means the short details of the web page is given in the description so description tells the short description of the web page it means the web page what the web page contains it can be described in short using meta tag with the description okay so name is equal to description what will be the content that is written inside the content attribute so meta name equal to description content is equal to now here we are using spaces with the symbol so you must enclose this content inside the double inverted commas okay so the whole content written inside double inverted comma next is the keywords here keywords are used to specify keywords related to content on a web page keywords means such a words by using which we can search the content on a web on a search engine okay in this content or in this description or the in, in the whole web page some keywords are very important by using those keywords any user can search and when any user search the content by using those keywords those keywords must be present in our web page okay so this meta name is equal to keyword is used to specify some important keywords that should present in our web page for example here is a given in the web page describing the content of maharashtra state board the related keywords may be maharashtra state board hsc ssc these things can be searched by users so we can specify these particular keywords in the meta tag 
So here we have specified meta name is equal to keywords and what type of keywords you can consider that is a content is equal to the first keyword is a Maharashtra State Board, the second keyword is a HSC and the third keyword is a SAC. Okay, so three keywords are used and may confirm that see Maharashtra State Board this keyword we can find in the description. The HSC keyword we are finding over here and SSC also is possible to find over here. Okay, means your keyword must be present in a whole web page or the description. Okay, so here is a meta name keywords content is equal to Maharashtra State Board, HSC and SSC. By using this tag, we can specify keywords. And the last part is we can also specify copyrights information. We can specify copyrights information in meta tag. So how we can specify it? See meta name is equal to copyright because there are four possible values for this name attribute. Okay, we have already used these three values. Now the last value is copyrights. So look at here. Meta name is equal to copyright, content is equal to the content of website is a copyrighted to Maharashtra State Board at 2020. Okay, so copyright information you can specify in the content attribute. By using content attribute, you can specify any copyright information by using this meta tag. Okay, so this is your second very important attribute that is a content. When you search engine, when you search engine optimize your website, that time these two attributes we have to use compulsory name and content. Other these two attributes are optional. Okay, care set and HTTP equivalent, these two attributes are optional. Even though we are going to study these two attributes, what are the purpose of this, purposes of these two attributes? So see here, first attribute is a care set. What is use of this care set? It displays HTML page correctly. Web browser must know the character set used in the page. Means to display HTML page correctly, the web browser must know what type of character set are used in the page. Okay, now see here, care set attribute specifies character encoding declaration like UTF-8 or BIC-5. Okay, means when you say character set is equal to UTF-8, then it is specified that all content in the web page is related to any Indian or non-Indian lipids. Okay, now see here what is purpose of this UTF-8. Okay, means what we can say that the care set can have possible values, many possible values, but we are using widely UTF-8 and BIG-5. Now here UTF-8, what is purpose of this UTF-8? UTF-8 is a default value in HTML5. Means when you are not using this care set attribute, then automatically it is a considered default value as UTF-8. And this UTF-8 is used for Unicode, which covers almost all the characters and symbols in the world. Okay, so UTF-8 is a commonly used for default LIPI or for default character coding. Whereas BIG-5 is other char set, character set. This BIG-5 is used for Chinese character. Okay, so BIG-5 is used for Chinese character. But when you are designing your website in India, then you have to use care set is equal to UTF-8. Okay, and when you are going to design any Chinese website, then you can use care set is equal to big 5 Okay, so here are examples, meta care set is equal to UTF-8 and meta care set is equal to big 5
okay this two tag with attributes are not compulsory if you are not using this attribute then automatically utf8 value will consider so no need to write this meta tag in your web page okay but to study this part of meta tag where we must know what is purpose of care set next attribute is http equivalent okay http equivalent this attribute can be used to simulate an http response header this attribute can be used within a meta element to define certain setting that would require the use of http response header for example the first use of http equivalent is refresh by using this value we can define a time period for which we want to document to reload it means by using this refresh value we can reload means reopen we can reopen the same page by using this refresh value we can reopen the same page after some seconds for example just see below the example is given meta http equivalent means equal is equal to refresh content is equal to 30 it means after this 30 seconds the page will get refreshed means if you change the content if you change or edit any content then automatically that content will save and refresh after 30 seconds okay so if you want to refresh the page after 30 seconds you can specify it by using meta tag and here you are using attribute http equivalent with refresh attribute okay and content is nothing but the seconds after which the page should refresh this content is given in seconds next is a set cookie it is used to set new cookie or override existing or browser sent cookie back to server now what is this cookie cookie is a new word for you cookie is nothing but some information kept by browser automatically to know what happens on your computer means suppose you are using your computer you open the number of pages you open number of websites and suppose i want to check that what you have open on your computer then all these things are stored in a cookie okay i can retrieve the information from the cookie that what you did on your computer to store this or set this cookie we can use the meta tag okay how it can be possible by using meta http equivalent is equal to set cookies content is equal to key value but one more thing i want to tell you that from march 2018 this part of a meta tag is not used google chrome rejected this meta tag or meta disk content okay so nowadays this content or this meta tag is not used at all okay just for information you have to Uh, keep in mind that set cookie by using this set cookies we can set values for login information okay so this is nowadays outdated part now here is a content type so what type of content is used in a web page it may be either text or html that can be specified by using this attribute so two possible values text or html 
but we must know that we must specify both the attribute values at a time by using slash attribute so here is the meta http equivalent is equal to content type and what is the type text or html that we can specify inside the content attribute okay so here is a text slash html the web page contains either text or html okay and last is the expires okay so here is the expires if you want to stop the session after some time if you want to close the session automatically after some time or at specific time then by using expires value of http equivalent you can stop the session session means what the ongoing process suppose you want to stop the action of any page suppose you want to stop the process of any page then it can be possible by using expire value of http equivalent attribute for example see here meta http equivalent is equal to expire here we have specified value of this http equivalent attribute now what is the content content says that user id is equal to pqr it means whose user id is pqr will get expired on wednesday 8 feb 2020 at night 2359 means here we are specifying the date and time okay the particular date and time at that date and time the session of the page will expire means no more it can be used by user from this type but the user id will be pqr for this particular user id this page will not able to see after 8 feb 2020 means on 9th feb 2020 the user pqr cannot use this page from that time okay so by using expires we can stop the session for any particular users okay so these all things about meta tag okay so meta tag whatever you have written inside the meta tag that will be never display on a web page then where it displays okay to know these things i want to share other screen and here i want to search a particular keyword okay here i am entering a keyword maharashtra state board okay this is the particular keyword maharashtra state board i click here and press enter now see these are the sites of maharashtra state board okay so here is one site here is a one site that is a maha hsc board dot maharashtra dot gov dot in here is maha hsc board dot in here is a wikipedia dot org here you are getting information about the maharashtra state board now see this part is nothing but the description okay whatever description you have entered in meta tag that will display here so for this web page in meta tag this description is written for this particular web page when you click on this web page in that meta tag this description was written so this description always displays in your searching search engine it never display on a web page okay so this is the advantage of to write description in meta tag 
or this is the advantage of meta tag so to use keywords and description in meta tag in it is very important for search engine optimization okay we'll stop over here